Two douchebags on a couch. One's an asshole, one's a grouch. And relentless, oh, Welcome to Jim and Eddie talking shit live from Venice, not live, it's a pre-record because Eddie's actually in uh, Australia at the present moment. How's that going? It's going pretty well. I feel good. It's really hot here. Apparently there's like another cyclone coming and we're all going to die. So I might not be on next week's episode. But we pre-recorded, so I will be. It would be cool if you were dead now. It would be awesome. If you died in Australia and these were still going up. It'd be well, good for the show. It's kind of like Lindsay. Lindsay's dead and we still do the show. Yeah, no, Lindsay's gone. Uh, Lindsay might be back. I don't know. I want Lindsay back, Eddie. He's not as keen. Jason's really flourished since Lindsay's been away. Yeah, he's gotten cockier. He thinks because cause Lindsay's not here to tra- trample all over him. He thinks he can say anything he wants and talk whenever he wants and do whatever he fucking wants. He showed up late tonight. He stoned. He was drinking martinis. He didn't bring the fucking cheese for the hot dogs. I apologize for And you're cheese. getting fatter. You really are getting fatter. I'm not joking about that. Look at that. You've got, you've got two top tits and two bottom tits. Like, you have bottom tits again. Above your fat gut, there's like four tits. Do you see? There's four. There's no nipples on them, though. Ew. And we got the lovely Leet with us again. It's her birthday. Happy birthday, Leet. Thank you so much. Happy and, birthday. And you're the reason why uh, everyone's late, because uh, Jason had to have a martini with you. Yeah. Because Jason's got that never quit attitude. <laughs> even, even, after, <laughs> even after the last podcast yeah. where you looked him in the face and said there is never a chance of anything <laughs> happening ever. The man has $8 to his name, <laughs> and he spent that on a fucking martini for you. No. I did. Happy birthday, Lily. No, she bought. She yeah. paid for this. She <laughs> paid. She paid. She, 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 that's, see, now you're just encouraging him. That's like a stray cat that you're feeding there. You do that, he'll never stop trying to rape you. Yeah. <laughs> You did tell me you wanted to penetrate me tonight. I, I did. I said that. <laughs> yeah. See, it was, when, the, it was in the, the martini last, drink. In the last episode, when she told you you have Asperger's because you don't see signs in so in social uh, kind of the social realm, that's what she's talking about. Oh. When she said to you, "You'll never have a chance of ever." ever getting with me and you said I want to penetrate <laughs> that's Asperger's well he Jim just called it a no quit attitude I'll, I don't know is, te- this, is it the same you, thing you, you watched Rocky one too many times <laughs> I'm, I'm an enabler Lilith uh, is filling in helping out right now and Lilith dressed very sexy tonight we see because it's her birthday she said but I think she just wanted to be slutty <laughs> to get more attention from us from yeah from me and my Sexual energy. Jim <laughs> talked about you. Jim couldn't stop talking about you after the last episode. He goes, she said that I have sexual energy. He goes, I think she wants to fuck me. And I said, if you fuck her, you will kill Jason. More fucking reason. Would you? <laughs> I, I, uh, I, I, w- I don't even want to fuck Louis. I just want Jason dead. <laughs> <laughs> I um, You know what? I'll, I'll join in on that. I'll, t- I'll take the front. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll tell you something weird. I, I was just speaking to my brother before everyone came over on Skype. Now, not, not Scott the gold, gold, gold. Not, not him. My other brother, the copper. I was talking to him on the podcast. He, he always talks finances and things with me because he worries that I'm not doing anything with my life. <laughs> and um, uh, he said, he goes, I've listened to nine of them. Would you like to know my feedback? And I said, sure. He goes, first two, not very funny. But it does pick up. There are some good moments. What's wrong with Jason? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it? But he didn't say it like 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 he, he cared. He was like properly like wondering, like he couldn't figure it out. And I go, well, I think he's autistic. You think or you know he's autistic? There's something <laughs> there's something more going on like that. So what is wrong with you again? Nothing. All right. You know, and and it, it was Jim's birthday, uh, and recently, and Jim talks about how horrible his family is. And how his mother's mean to him. She his brothers me. abused him. Meanwhile, every time I tell him, well, I was talking to my brother. He was helping with my finances. Look at this card my mom gave me for my birthday. She made it herself. L- 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 could you just get that card off the mantle there? This is, this is the card that my mother made me for Christmas. She made him a card. It's right beside the trophy, the now, first place trophy that I got I, I, in go-karting when I beat Jim second year in a row. I will say my mother makes the cards from scratch. As, as harsh as she was in my childhood, she's very crafty. This is a card that's made from several bits of cardboard. And if you pull the string, it says, happy birthday. Then a little beer appears. Then a hippopotamus appears. 
and then it says the date of my birthday on it. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty good. You couldn't buy that in a shop, No, could you? you could probably market that card, actually. Yeah, look, it took about 12 hours Jason. to make. I don't see how, where the profitability... Well, you outsourced the labor. Jason, you... Yeah. In China. You and Jim's mom should go into business together. Greeting cards? Yes. And board games. Along with... No, just a company called Fat People I Push Around. <laughs> <laughs> Along with your skincare line, yeah. Your what else do you have going on right now? A, a rock band. A rock band. You're party promoting. You've got yeah. a party promotions yeah. company now. Yeah, the nineteenth. And you're starting. You're starting a food truck. Yeah. You're fucking Walter Mitty. You live in a dream world. None of this shit exists, Jason. <laughs> yeah, yeah. These these stuff is, are as realistic as your relationship with elite. <laughs> <laughs> the brain doesn't know the difference, though. No, no, no. no, no. no. The delusion is a wonderful place to but be. The penis does. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means, but she just took a dig at you. I heard. You know when a psychiatrist t like beats down your emotions? That's, That's someone who really wants to do it. Yeah. <laughs> they know how to do it professionally. <laughs> and she's doing it with cock jokes. Uh, Adam's sitting in. Adam's a friend of... Actually, Machete introduced us to Adam. Uh, Adam's done... Uh, Adam De La... I don't want to pronounce it wrong. Adam De La Pena. That's perfect. Oh, good. Nicely done. And Adam used to be a writer on The Man Show. and I uh, love The Man Show. It was a good show. Wrote Thank for The Man you. Show. Yeah. He had his own show that I was a big fan of because it, it made... Uh, I had a pilot with Comedy Central called Strap On that was the worst show in the history of Comedy Central. The opening joke on the show was... Uh, Hey, I was wearing a helmet camera and I went, hey, ladies, if your gynecologist has one of these on, I think you should find another doctor. Yeah, that's a and good they, joke. And they gave it to me and they're like, you, have you to look read like it. a minor. And I went, no, this isn't really. And they go, one of the other jokes I remember was uh, uh, when I uh, told my parents that I was hosting a show called Strap On, they thought I was working with Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> that's not a bad joke. Yeah, it is. Delete yeah. like that one. Yeah. So, anyway, because she she's uh, a lesbian. The year that I had this pilot, uh, I was up against Colin Quinn's show, I think, Tough Crowd, and the Chappelle show. And they told me, they said, uh, yeah, you're up against Chappelle and Colin Quinn. And I went, hmm, I wonder which one of those shows is getting on the air. They go, well, they're only taking one. And it's probably going to be yours because yours is cheap compared to their. Right. And as it turns out, they picked up three. Except for yours. Yeah. And the I've, been, one, I've been in this situation. The third before. one was Adam, our guest, had a show where he would, um, what was it? You followed around Gary Busey? Uh, I basically told him. Oh, I'm with show. Gary? Uh, I'm with Busey. I'm with yeah. Busey, yeah. Uh, Jason, see, Jason's with Gary. Yeah. <laughs> I like that he has lucid moments, though. Like, <laughs> like, like, you're talking about the card, and then also Jason's like, we'd outsource all the labor. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, whoa. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'd uh, basically, I, I pitched Comedy Central. I said, hey, um, what if we did a crazy adventure show where I did an adventure show with uh, Gary Busey, and I... I actually, I had this deal there, and I pitched them three ideas, and they're like, "Well, we, we fucking hate all your ideas." All <laughs> and I'm like, "I got I got one more." And then I told them this one, and they're like, "I walked out," and they called my uh, agent. And they're like, "They're really interested in that Busey idea." And I'm like, "I don't know him." <laughs> <laughs> and my agent was like, "God damn it!" And then he's like, well, "We got to find him." I'm like, you got to find him. It's not my problem. You guys are gonna look like an asshole. So I found him. And uh, I, I, I literally sat in a room telling him about the show and what I want to do for about an hour. He said nothing the entire time. Right. And then he, and he's like, are you going to pay me? I'm like, yeah, we'll pay you money. He's like, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. And it was the craziest. Like, and what crazy was the actual show? I've never seen it being a foreigner. In a uh, it was, uh, it was, I would basically go on these adventures with Gary Busey and try to teach him things, and he'd try to, you know, teach me things. And uh, one of the first episodes we ever did, which was a huge mistake, because uh, instead of, like, shooting in L.A., and it was, like, one of my first, like, shows I did, I was an idiot. I was, like, he was, like, hey, we should go out to Arizona and find the Magic Indian, go on a vision quest. <laughs> <laughs> and I was, like, what could go wrong? <laughs> Arizona? Sounds like a great fucking idea. And uh, that was just like just a nonsense. Just being in the desert with that guy was just the craziest time. But it was it was fun because he does everything you want him to do. Like, does he, he take drugs and all that type of stuff? Or is, is, uh, is on the Vision Quest, no. I mean, like on the show, what the, his big thing would to do was that he, the, the conflict that started coming about, which was awesome, was that 
he was used to big movie sets. That's what he would tell us. And right. our show was shit. That's yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. hilarious. So he would be like, where's the crane? I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a crane. He's like, where's the DP? I'm like, me and that guy there has a camera and there's three other guys with a camera. He's like, this is bullshit. And like, walk away. And, uh, so that was like the kind of the crux of like, you know, the show. And we, we would do like, you know, one, one time we did, I said, uh, we did this whole paintball thing because he was in all these war movies and uh, he was showing me how to like do all this like stuff that he had learned in like movies and things like that. So uh, it was pretty crazy. Did you ever have a, like a really, really scary moment off off camera with him? No, I mean, no. Well, the only time was like he would want to change things, which was really funny to me and to everybody else until like this one time where I was like. I, I can't remember what it was, but we t- we decided we were going to do something, and it was over his house. There was, like, a huge cliff over his house, and he was like, uh, he's like, Adam, come here. I redid everything. And there's, like, a <laughs> rope and a tree and blah, blah, blah. He's like, and you're going to tire. him. And he's like, you're going to be swinging from this. And I was like, all right, yeah, yeah. And I go to the, one of the producers, like, hey, who rigged that? And he's like, Gary rigged it. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, no fucking way. <laughs> I was like, nope. I'm not doing it. And then another time, uh, he told uh, Lou Ferrigno, the Incredible Hulk, yeah. I'm on the show, and he's like, he's like, you know, be funny. He's like, he's like, Lou, let's like, and he's telling me this, and I can clearly hear him. Let's grab Adam and and, and shake him, shake him down over the uh, once again the, the cliff. And so he, <laughs> they grab me and they shake me, and then Gary takes off, and Lou's just shaking me. And then, then <laughs> Gary, but Lou puts me down, and then and then we're like, we're like, am I all right? Cut. And then uh, Lou goes, uh. Wow, I almost lost you there for a second when Gary left. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't Lou Ferrigno like partially think, deaf? Yeah, I think yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I think he was like yeah. way, even when he was on the well, show. Yeah, he no, was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing is because the original Hulk in the in the comic books, and I'm a comic book guy. I'm not. A yeah, so am I. Yeah. But he used to go bang, crash, boom. Yeah. You know, and that but then when they brought Lou Ferrigno and he was going. Bang, crash. Oh, yeah. Bang. yeah. <laughs> they went. Uh, Jim, for uh, his birthday, his, uh, his girlfriend, his wonderful girlfriend, Rachel, got him a hot dog maker because she knows what white trash he is. Oh, no, he left him too long in the rotisserie. Oh, and, and he's making chili you didn't, dogs. You didn't heat that chili up whatsoever, did you? <laughs> I, I just dropped, Jason's making his hot dogs. I just him. dropped a bit of that and made my leg cold. Right now, Jason's <laughs> holding every condiment possible in his fat, meaty hands, and he... he he made Jim's hot dog and he you that's it's good. Shitty, shitty cold chili. Where's my hot dog? You gotta, right. you gotta outsource the work. Um, I heard a story. I heard a story. Yeah, we get, we get Armenians to do it for us. Thank you, Lily. Um, we worked out. They, left, they were left on you. too long. Put four more on, Jason. <laughs> so uh, I heard a story about Gary Busey once that he's not as crazy as he, uh, as he portrays. Mm-hmm. It's kind of an act that uh, somebody was working with him and they said, he told him, he said, I live near Babs. It's like he lives next door to uh, Barbara Streisand. No, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> no. This is a story he told. Yes, and, and, and as much as I live uh, near her too. Yeah. <laughs> by living in Los Angeles and, near and, Malibu. And I forget who told me this, but the guy said, uh, he said, Babs told me, you got to be a diva. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be a diva. You got that's how you get things in Hollywood. Uh, if you act normal, they don't give you anything. He's a funny guy. Like I remember, the, the, there was this thing, uh, shockingly, Comedy Central. Uh, it's vegetarian. Some, Comedy Central cut it, and I have no idea why. Like, I got Ronnie James Dio to be on the show, who you know I love, and um, and I said, hey, you know, it'd be really funny, uh, Ronnie, if you were just asleep in Gary's bed, <laughs> you just like for no reason. And then Gary goes, who the fuck is Ronnie James Dio? <laughs> <laughs> I was you- like, are you kidding me? And I, he's, I'm like, explain it to him. And I was like, you're, you know, you're crazy. Like, you don't know who Dio is? And literally the note from Comedy Central is the same thing. Who the fuck is Ronnie James Dio? You know, and I was like, God. I'm just sitting here as you're explaining the show. And I have to admit, I didn't see it. But I'm sitting here going, how did this not win an Emmy? Uh, <laughs> this uh, is like the greatest idea I've ever heard. It was exhausting. Um, but the vision quest. What was the vision quest? I want to know. Uh, the vision quest was essentially that he was gonna, we were gonna go to uh, to Arizona and go on a vision quest, um, and uh, we went and uh, just really tooled around Arizona, you know, it, it, for the, about a, a couple of days. The reason I'm asking is because Jason's done everything. Jason, uh, uh-huh. Jason, he's making hot dogs. <laughs> hot dogs, very busy. He's making hot dogs out of his fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, we need to know, have you ever gone on a vision quest before? 
I've left my body before. How did you leave your body? Is that body? a yes or a no? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't answer yeah. yes or no. It's not possible. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Explain your vision quest. Well, no, vision quest? No, I saw the movie. Um, <laughs> Matthew Modine, and, and mm -hmm. I was tricked into becoming a wrestler because of that shit. Is that really what got you into wrestling? That is what got, and I'm so disappointed because it didn't get me laid. He got laid because he was a wrestler and he cut weight and cut. He wrestled shoot and. Right. Dogs are right. But you know, no uh, vision <laughs> quest. Really good. Brilliant. <laughs> I've never gone on an actual vision quest like the the indigenous vision quest. No. But we should all do that at, at some point, I think, in our lives. Really? Yeah. Have you gone on some weird trips though? For sure. Oh yeah. What, yeah what's yeah. the weirdest one you've ever been on? Uh, you just did it right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I mean the weirdest one I ever been on. Was it ever like when you were staring? Into Are we talking about eyes? like mushroom <laughs> trips or just weird hallucinogenic? You know, like things. I like don't find carrier. mushroom trips do what they say though. Whenever I've taken mushrooms, people always talk about oh you start seeing things. The, the walls are a bit wobbly. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I mean everything's yeah, yeah. a bit wavy. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. And I actually, see a pattern that moves. No, what's whatever's on your mind though. Like uh, uh, one time I took. Mushrooms. Oh, I see you dead a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that wobbly wall. I don't. I don't even do mushrooms, and I see you dead a lot. <laughs> Do you literally sit down and go, it's time to take the inner journey? And then that's No, it. I mean, like, <laughs> paddle your once canoe in a while, they just show up. Like, usually someone just gives them to me, and that's when I take them. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. seriously, like, and honestly, I just never... gave them to you now, would you take them? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I have this idea that... You'd take cyanide when they... if I gave it to you. <laughs> <laughs> if it was in one of your cunt mugs, you would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'd be getting your stomach pump bragging about being my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Jeffries poisoned me. <laughs> you didn't see for the last for the last week and a half. Jason's been wearing a Jim Jeffries T-shirt. Oh, because he nice. likes free T-shirts. If you have anything free, do you want one? Do you want a Jim? He's got plenty. <laughs> yeah, I, do. I, I do. I told you I, I I sold out of all the mid-sized T-shirts. I've got a lot of girl yeah, smalls yeah, yeah, yeah. and fat men left. <laughs> I uh, it, it, I don't mean to be rude, Adam, but you you and Ernie Machete look like a before and after picture from a diet show <laughs> <laughs> and a makeover show. I can train you. So what do you what are you what are you doing now, Adam? What's the what's the show you have now? Uh, I just uh, we're doing a season two DVD. That's what I'm working on right now. Of Code Monkeys. I did Code Monkeys for two years on G4, animated, and uh, before that I did Minora Team, uh, which is a racist. Uh, Minority team. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> is that it's like a comedy sense? It's Jack, it sounds like a show. It's like a, it's a Jack Kirby style uh, Marvel comic books uh, from that era, and it's uh, essentially uh, racist superheroes that use their racial power, like Doctor Wang's uh, Chinese, uh, and there's Jukano, who's the strongest Jewish man that ever lived. Right. Fasto, who's black and just fast, and uh, El Jefe, who has a leaf blower uh, that can. Blow holes in time, <laughs> <laughs> and the white shadow, who's the man? Who uh, he's the kind of the villain who's uh, going after them. Of course, uh, it's always the white man. Yeah, well, there's a corporate ladder also. <laughs> we <laughs> we had a discussion in the car the other day. I can't believe you're going to bring this up. <laughs> you, uh, Jason, wasn't in the car. This is very pro Mexican, by the way. This is very pro Mexican, and we would, we would chose what if you could be any race on earth, what would it be? And we all, other than we, what, other we all than said what you we all are. said white right away. Right, right. <laughs> and then they even went, people outside the car were yelling in white. <laughs> <laughs> and then they went no, except white. And then we all went um, for like four minutes. Yeah, yeah. there was, no, there was but, no. but we were only given the option of black, Asian, or Mexican. So yeah, you couldn't be European. You couldn't be like Italian or something. Yeah, because right, right, right. that's what. Who went to that first? Somebody said Italian. I said Italian, and that doesn't mm. count. You can't. Right, be, right, right. It, and you can't be halfsies. Yeah. You can't be all Obama it up. You got to be right. one or the other. Right. Yeah. Like if I heard that, what you, if you guys are saying like what, I'd be like, white, like immediately, like you guys would. So. Yeah. And yeah. I would stick to that no matter what. <laughs> 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 wait, wait, wait. It's gone for days. I'd be like, nope, I don't care. <laughs> Jason wasn't in the car when we did this. We, what, but uh, me, and Eddie, what, what, me and Eddie went Mexican. We chose. We chose what, 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 no, you shouldn't have told him because now we, we he'll choose. No, 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 no. Here. Well, if you, <laughs> if you had to be anything other than your race, you and black, don't pick some race Mexican, that no one's heard of. Or yeah, I'm giving you three options. You have to answer one, or we will fucking kill you. Black, Asian, or Mexican. Asian. Why? Explain why. They have the mm -hmm. longest written record of history. <laughs> 
That's what I'm talking about. So you're worried. <laughs> you're worried about the race being wiped out. <laughs> yeah, no, but J- Jason's used to that. He's used to that. He can live yeah. on with that. He doesn't know any better. Smallest penis. Because the hairy Armenians getting into Asian culture typically like China, right? Mm, yeah. They don't measure things like like we react. Uh, we're kind of like we need to be satisfied now. We need to think in the now. They measure things in generations. You may get me if I'm Asian. Now, I'll wait a hundred years and I'll get you back with my grandchildren or something. They're very, very. Did he just threaten me with his grandchildren? <laughs> <laughs> is that what he? Is that hey, what he's? You know how for? to get grandchildren? You have to get children. <laughs> <laughs> and to get to get children, you have to get a girl. And usually, when you get them without rape. Because with no, rape, they're going to abort that child. What you need is you need to be able to come within four hours, even if you need to do a shit. <laughs> I, like, I like that tunnel that he goes down, though. It was like clear, like they had the longest history of written language, and then it's around on the other end where it's like, I'll get you in 100 years. Do, do, what just happened between <laughs> that and that? Ab- 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 Aboriginal, Aboriginal Australians, they're the oldest race on earth. Do they have any written record, though? Do they uh, write no, for 10,000 years in a row or not? No, I don't There's know. things on and cave I'm, walls and stuff. I'm really nervous that Adam's planning on doing a new show where he follows Jason. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Called Suicide Monk. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad man, band name, though, actually. Yeah. Suicide Monk. I like that. Not Monk. Oh, I thought you said Suicide Monk. I That's a good mong. name. Mong. Oh, Mong. Like, oh, Because you're a Mongoloid. Mongtourage, Mongolian. Look, his knuckles but are sui- all scraped suicide up monk, them. Suicide Monk is a good name for That's it. That's a good band name. It is a good suicide band Suicide Monk. You should, you get, know, that, you should reckon... get that tattooed right across your chest. Tomorrow. No. Will you? How, uh, much, how much is it for, t- for you to get Jim and Eddie put on you? We've been we've trying, been trying, trying to, to get them to Jim on one arm and Eddie on the other. Just in yeah. nice little cursive writing. We know Nothing there's garish. A, we know there's a money <laughs> value here. I like that it's not. That's the key. Give me in writing 20% of all your earnings. For the rest of our lives. And I'll do it. Go kill yourself. <laughs> I'll do that for less. <laughs> <laughs> That's a contract. Yeah, and That's then legally then, binding. Then the next generation will get you, Eddie. And then my grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> they'll get you. They'll get you with all that money uh, they've got. And they'll write it down for that, years. The half hour of power. <laughs> you know what I like? You think that the, the Asian people have such a long written history, and I've never seen you write anything down ever. <laughs> Like it would stop with you. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you could be Indian as well, be an Indian person. That's another. Oh, option. yeah, that was an option. Yeah, that was an option. That no Indian. one chose. Like Indi- East Indian or West Indian? Like, like you know, of an Indian, say Pakistani, India. I, I know they don't all get along with those countries, but they're from the same ilk. I still go with Asian. Still go with Asian? Yeah. Okay. By the there's way, a, there's a lot of different they Asians. They keep their You know, there's short and... Asians, tall Asians. I mean, like the Asian is a very broad term. Really. It's amazing what you learn on that. <laughs> I, I know. Yeah, I, also I know. Like... There's a lot of different Asians. There's a lot of different white you, people. You should write, yeah. Jason. Have you ever thought of writing for Wikipedia? <laughs> <laughs> I, I like to that Jason one point in a conversation. One because it's good on a podcast. Points to his head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using my brain, which nobody can well, see. Well, that was obviously. inside information. Okay, that right, was, it right. wasn't for. I also like the dudes that do point to their head and be like. <laughs> it literally means you don't know what's going on. Oh, do, you, do you know that if you put your 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 buzzer for your car, I learned this off Top Gear in Britain, and I did it the other day because I was lost in a, a car park trying to look for my car. If you put your buzzer to your head, you get another thirty meters range. I don't know if it's good for you. <laughs> that can't be true. It is no, true. No, it's true. We, you put it up to your head. There's something about the, the electric field in your brain and all that actually it launches it, it, launches yeah. it out. It's like why you, you can get... scuff your feet across the rug and shock him. You it's know? not like, like that feet. at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the exact in... opposite of that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't talking about static electricity no. with a rug. I was talking about finding my car with it, a buzzer. If you stuck your car keys in a potato, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you that could get the car to move. <laughs> <laughs> but it, I, I, was, I was hesitant to do it, but it worked. I, I don't know what cancer I, I caused, but uh, it worked all right. It's like, did you, he probably believes this one. Have you ever seen the YouTube video where all the cell phones make a, make a kernel of corn pop? No. Okay. Does that does that exist? Yeah, they they put is all that these, legit. Yeah, that they legit. put all these cell phones together, and they they they're like in a circle, and then they call them all at the same time with a kernel of corn in the middle, and it pops supposedly from the radiation that's coming out of the phone. Mm, but mm, if you watch, mm. they've got other videos that show the way they do it. 
is they've got all these kernels down there that are popping, and they drop them. They drop the corn from but the top. But it, it worked for me. It wasn't a fake. I put it up to my head. And you found it. And it went beep. I was going beep, 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 beep and nothing happened. Beep. <laughs> and I saw it on a TV show, a car TV show. They said it works. Hey, it Jason, does. have you ever done that with your car? Oh, wait, you don't have one. <laughs> Have you ever done that with your bicycle? Yeah, no, 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 no. In, in, uh, in another world, have you ever done that with your rickshaw? <laughs> <laughs> no, but your grandchildren will. <laughs> and they will find you and They're use it to murder you. you. Yeah. After you die, your grandchildren are going to be chasing me down the street in their rickshaw. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, what type of Asian would you be, though, if you're going to be... I would pick Chinese. For you sure. pick Chinese? Yeah. Why, why Chinese? Because they're not... going to win in the end. No, but the Japanese... <laughs> in the end, it's going to be the Chinese. I guarantee... I'm going to put money on yeah, that one right Japanese, now. Yeah, uh, but the Japanese, they have a, more of a rich history than I would say that the Chinese do. The Japanese are proud of the fact that they stole their language from the Chinese and right. a lot of their traditions. They don't, they're not ashamed of that at all, but... No, the Chinese have more of a... Yeah, no, I, I, I hate countries who do, who do that. Yeah. So would, would you like to surrender now? Get that freight now? for me. Would you like to surrender now? What do you mean? I'm, I'm picking Chinese. I win. So I'm, yeah, I'm saying, do you want to just surrender to them like your new overlords? <laughs> I hope they're listening because they listen no, no, to everything. No. Why would I be surrendering to, if, I, if I'm choosing to become one? That's not a surrender. That's so a, right now, are you going to denounce your citizenship? We want to know right here on the air, are you denouncing your citizenship? To where? To China. Denouncing my Chinese citizenship? No, your American citizenship... You, this is official on here. If you do it, you are from here on in a Chinese citizen. No. Well, then, then you can't ever be one. I want to pick Panamanian. <laughs> oh, wow. no. Lily. Nicely played. Lily, who, who would you be? What type of race would you be if you weren't Armenian? <laughs> <laughs> so Why is that so already? funny? <laughs> uh, I'd probably be Indian. Would you? Yeah, because you get keep the same hair. You know, I think yeah. you, you already have that sort of look to have you. Have the look. I get the my third eye going, and mm -hmm. I think it'd be set. Your third eye going. Yeah. What type of person are you? <laughs> you belong with Jason. <laughs> Why, what? Your grandchildren it, how, how, <laughs> are going to get raped by his grandchildren. Oh uh, yeah. How's the How's the new hot dogs going? Are they going all right? Are you looking good. Should I check on them? Give I'll, check him, on give him I'll, I'll be a good Armenian girl and check on. Ah, good. Happy Is that birthday. How Armenian girls are? Do they work for their man? That's what I hear. Oh, really? Ooh, no, it's no, not you, me, though. No, you can have a hot dog this time. You too. Enjoy. Hot oh. Dog. We just I'm keep, vegetarian. Well, we she did, bought me sushi. We just keep before. cooking. Oh, that's why you were late tonight. You were eating <laughs> yeah. sushi and drinking martinis. Yeah. You're such it's a... It's her birthday. It's a big him. deal for no, her. it was a free uh. meal. It was a big deal for you. <laughs> You will go anywhere for Two of my friends came what, out. What, what is it with you just buying him things? Things that smell like fish I'm a sugar things. mama. I know. You're a sugar mama? Yeah. You're younger than him by like 10 years. Did I not say in the beginning that I wanted to find a sugar mama? Yeah, you've, you said that in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In the beginning of what, written in about, time. <laughs> in, about, in about four years, by the looks of it, you'll need an insulin mama. <laughs> I'm going to go check on this hot dog. Yeah, All right, yeah. sugar mama. Right. Uh, so now Lily leaks out of the room. She can't hear anything that's going on. This thing where, you know, she's here. She she's, 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 she's getting hot this, dogs. Because she doesn't have headphones on. Okay. So we can say the most disgusting Be honest, things. you would smash the shit out of Lily. <laughs> yeah. 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 We talked about the most dirty, violent things we'd ever do. Right. Right in front of her, too. Right in front of her. <laughs> I, would, I would fuck her just to make Jason cry. <laughs> I cry every day, Jimmy. You don't have to do anything. Hot to fucker. Me. And use Jason Tears as lube. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Make the hot dogs, Lily. <laughs> and then we're gonna shove them in your condom. I think she's got good hearing, Lily. I think she's got something in her third eye. She seems to peer around the corner. <laughs> hey, yeah, through my third eye. Yeah, Lindsay, you can. I'd like to see your third eye. Could your third eye piss on me while I roll around in the bath? <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't either. I'm thinking about the visual of her standing over you, just giving you a golden shower, and it would be more of a shower I imagine, than you've had in I a imagine week. If, I imagine if the leak gave uh, Jason a, a golden shower, he'd be analyzing it as it hit him. Like, do you know that he'd the Asian praying. people, this wouldn't even be a bad problem, and there, and... <laughs> and it's not really a shower because I'm not actually getting clean, but I do feel like it's showering upon me. <laughs> You're a little bit of Cliff Clavin. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the golden shower is the uh, thing <laughs> that uh, Lilith used to do. <laughs> hey there, uh, Lilith. Just uh, squat over me and uh, piss all over my face. 
I'm a regular voice guy. I got two voices. <laughs> you can do, you can do Homer, Homer Simpson. I can do Homer. You do Homer and a different version of Homer. Different version of Homer, version of Homer which a is Homer. Cliff, Cla Cliff Clavin. Um, wait, we had something else to talk about. We had a problem. What, what happened with Jason? He, he fucked up today. What were you? What did to? I fuck up? What are you talking he about? He didn't bring cheese. Well, I didn't bring cheese. Are the hot dogs cheese. coming along nicely? No. Yeah, I just turned up the That's heat. the only thing. That's are they the only rotating though? Right. Honestly, I've wait. had a good day. <laughs> Wait, I want to find out more about Adam and the, uh, what, what is... Wait, what? you think cheese is the only fuck up? <laughs> Today. That's huge. Today. That's huge. Yeah. Today. It's been a good day. That's huge. Like, I only crashed the plane. <laughs> <laughs> cheese is key for fucking hot dogs. Yeah, yeah. Be careful because he, he, he's liking you and he's, he loves some of our guests. He yeah. falls so, you're, you're so we, went, we went go-karting and he went to me. He goes, uh, is April Macy coming? <laughs> Right, and April April had a car in the shop, so she couldn't go. And he's like, uh, "So I thought that's all right." April's a very pretty girl. Yeah. Of course, you want April there. It'd be a bit of something to look at, you know. And uh, but then he went. I really hope Bobby Lee comes. Yeah, <laughs> you so <laughs> really, you really oh, love uh, Bobby well, Lee, didn't you? There was, yeah, I feel it here. And he's worried that he's he's worried that. Uh, <laughs> I thought he's putting his hand up, uh, putting the shield. He, he, oh. <laughs> he was worried that Matt Kirshen nah. didn't like. No, him. I don't think Matt likes me. Yeah, I don't think so either. I think no. he thinks I'm going to rape him. He's a very smart guy. But Nick Swartzen liked you. Yeah, he liked me. We're gonna have Nick Swartzen on the show, nice. and uh, Nick cool. Nick and uh, took a liking to Jason. Uh, at the improv one night, and Jason was so happy. I, well, yeah. You have a famous he's friend, nice. isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's friendly to me. Yeah, yeah. Next day, all day, he's Very like, can friendly. we have Nick over? Can Nick come on the show? Why don't you call <laughs> Nick? Let's have Nick. Ranger play date. Who's going to chaperone? You no, the elite will do it. She's your sugar mama. <laughs> oh, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> uh, look, when are you two going to get together? Look at how nice you are. Look Lily, we do this a lot. What... Money value would it take <laughs> for you to have sex? There is a number. There's a number for me to have sex with Jason. Mm. What What's is that your number? number? You tell me first. <clears throat> no, this is our game and our show. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, Are those I, hot dogs I, ready? <laughs> I need a barometer. Do Come I on. get to shove them in his ass? Uh, does that count? Fifty bucks. Uh, no, here's the deal. Uh, I've already. April I've Macy said she wouldn't do it for more than less than a hundred thousand. Ten thousand. She came down to ten thousand. She did come down to ten thousand. Came 10, down 000. to ten thousand. After what? So wow. right now it's ten thousand to have sex with me. Nice. Look, he just looked at Adam. Looked at Adam. No, Jason would have going, to give her going, one. going gone. You would have to give her ten thousand dollars. This is right? this is like Fuck, a fat version of the Price is Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, seriously, because I've given my number. Uh, we there is a price between one dollar. You wouldn't do it for a dollar, and. Ten million dollars. There's got to be somewhere in between. So let's find it. I'm still confused as to why I would have to pay him. No, you get no, 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 no. Oh, I get paid. We no, pay no, no, no. you. Oh, okay, okay. To have I'm sex sorry. With him. I didn't get, the other one's out a different of that game. HBO money. Hmm. After all those dinners <laughs> and martinis, um, is it less? I'll, I'll is do it for less ten thousand and one. <laughs> I think a thousand and one. Ten thousand and one. Ten thousand and one. Oh, uh, okay. See, so oh, well, well, this is good. This is good. This is good. Now the ball's in your court. <laughs> right? The ball's in your court. You have the lovely red-headed April Macy. Lovely, 10, funny, 000. witty, beautiful and body. And then for one dollar more, I can go down. And for one dollar more, you can have <laughs> you can have Princess Jasmine here. Yeah, yeah. Right? A whole new world. Don't you dare close your eyes. <laughs> okay, so I can show you the world. Next bit. You've got your choice. I don't remember the lyrics. I'm not like you. I don't remember all the lyrics. You've got, got your choice. Right. She's a dollar more expensive than Magic April. A dollar, dollar more than I, I'm gonna say in the long term, if there is. No, no, it's not long term. Oh, it's one, one shot. Oh, it's do one, you think? Oh do you think once generationally, they, oh. he's yeah, thinking generation. Listen, once they once they have sex with you, they're gonna go get a scrub down <laughs> yeah. and move to another continent. And be, throw yeah, yeah. powder on them. They'd have to pay tax on it because we'd be mentioning it all the time as well. The government's gonna know. We have to de license them. Like, Does that like, make me an escort? It's not like yeah. make you. <laughs> you're a fucking escort. Now, what, what's what's the uh, all girls are? I wouldn't take it personally. Uh, uh, Some do it for have a house and or just to have a kid, but eventually right. they all give it up for something. <laughs> 
Now, that wasn't very pleasant. That much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, did we, did we, Why? Did we lose a few subscribers just <laughs> then? Yeah. 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 Do, you think, do you think any of our subscribers cared about that comment? <laughs> do we have any women subscribing to the show? Yes, yes we, we must do. do. We, got a oh, lot there of are? we have tens really? of thousands of people who listen to the show. And I'm sick of all the Twitters I'm getting about you. You are on every fucking Twitter. Hey, why don't you give that Jason Hour acid and do the show with <laughs> yeah, like yeah. that? And everyone wants to punch you. Why? Everyone. Why? I'm going to get attacked. Let, please let your brother come on the show and punch Jason. It would be gold, gold, gold. <laughs> We did a we did an episode the hidden episode that we might not ever um, we might not ever reveal it was a, just a night it started at three in the morning and um, Jay we were here with a with a rapper named Example w- white guy we should add white rapper <laughs> white British rapper now I get everything and um, uh, let's just say by the end of the night Jason didn't have a shirt on and was getting punched in the face by Jim <laughs> and in the stomach by Jim. He, not only did you punch him in the face once, maybe nine times. I don't remember. I, I only, I've seen the video footage. I was steaming, but I oh clocked God. him in the jaw. Ten times. Oh, my God. Wow. My hand hurt when I woke up. And I, <laughs> I, I, and I saw Jason and his face was all swollen. And I said, are you hurting? And he goes, oh, yeah. He goes, I was fucked up last night. And I go, does your face hurt? And he goes, no, no. Why would that hurt? <laughs> <laughs> Jason has a constant look of mumps. <laughs> I'm not fat. All right, wait, wait. So, Lalit, or no, Jason, you, yeah. you, you've uh, you've got one of them, April Macy or Lalit. Mm. Right, they're the same price. Same price. Basically. So, for well, you know what, twenty thousand no, no, and one dollars, no, I can on. have them both. Hold you on. can have them both. All right, yeah, that's yeah. my option. Twenty thousand no, no, and one. No, it would just end like your marriage. They'd be sleeping in the corner and not fucking you. <laughs> I need to watch though. Twenty <laughs> twenty thousand and one. You don't even have a dollar right now. You had to borrow. You had to borrow money from Jim and I for hot dogs. I reckon they'd go down to. I reckon they go down to fifteen thousand if they got to have the combo? job. Yeah, the if, combo was, if the combo deal. Would you? Because then you could deal? both sit and point and laugh at them. Yeah, because then yeah, you only have to, for that. You only have to do half the work. There's a do I get to play with my vibrator? Fifty percent chance you're not going to get cum on you. <laughs> I'm in. You're in. <laughs> I think Adam's questioning his uh, choice to come here tonight. Right? <laughs> no, I was actually, I, I was just, I like the quick math about the 50, the fifty percent. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, not as, definitely not as much. Come on, you. Yeah, which is nice. Not as much. But knowing Jason's stuff, it'd probably crawl off one is person onto the other. <laughs> <laughs> what didn't he shit before he came? Is that what this- yeah, no, you, if, yeah, if, you have if, to take a dump before so you can come. If you, Adam, we should explain. There was should an episode where he had sex for the first time in maybe a decade. <laughs> and he had sex with this no. girl who was mm-hmm. quite hot, who was actually the volleyball beach volleyball partner of his uh, ex-wife. So it was all was everything wrong with it. <laughs> and, uh, and, he, and I fucked her, man. I fucked her for like... Like I'm talking, I'm talking like Bill Murray. From <laughs> <laughs> five hours. It was just five <laughs> hours, and then I got we were five like hours constantly. His, his he, first time back, and it turned out that he didn't come in those entire five hours. And why didn't you come, Jason? Because I was holding in uh, poo. I couldn't go. I was like, I was afraid that if I let any gas out or it, like mm-hmm. if I came, I would shit my pants or well, not my pants, but uh-huh. I was naked. But you know, like yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. I just felt like because you, <laughs> you had your pants on. So- you had your pants on. And your socks. I I didn't have a condom, so I just left my pants on. And, and your your World of Warcraft headset. <laughs> <laughs> So you're not the classy dude I thought you were. I'm shocked. I told him one night to wear wear a tie to uh, to do the show, and he goes, "Why?" I go, "We've got a special guest. I want you to dress up." And he goes, "No, no. What, what, what did you say?" Well, at the time, I was under the belief, and I haven't been disproven this, that 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 the that the tie came from the papacy, that it comes from the Catholic Church, and that it's part of that regalia, and that's where you know. And so, why don't you wear a tie? Well, two things. Okay. First off, is a representation of somebody else's, like, a symbol of slavery or bondage or control, right. right? And the second thing is a tie is actually a combat liability. If you're wearing a necktie, right. someone can grab that, uh-huh. you know, and, like, tow you around the room. And Wait, hold on. Yeah. When, were you in the sh- when were you in the shit that you know this? 
Dude, actually, if you t- if you got a job at McDonald's, right? Well, you the like, reason the reason they give you a clip on tie at any fast food restaurant, right. is so someone can't yank you over the but counter you said by your combat tie. liability. That's, like, that's, you that's a combat. Shit. That's a combat that's situation. The if you're rigging somebody up on a Big Mac and someone comes in with a gun, <laughs> that's a combat situation. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Not, if that was that's the situation, like, like, yeah. the president would have a clip on. <laughs> right. Exactly. Right. <laughs> that is not the reason <laughs> right, at all. Right, it's right. because for 14 year old, 15 year old people don't know how to tie no, ties very no. well. No, that may be the reason for the invention, but the reason that security companies. So, why would they put bolos on it? Because they're harder to grab. Everybody would be on the bolo tie. <laughs> yeah. By that reasoning. I don't know. Wait, for, I want to go back to how. Why do you keep using combat situation? Have you been in the shit or what's going on? Are you a former military guy? Lots yeah. of combat. No way. No, but, but wait, wait, wait. But didn't you spend a lot of time? No, my in, wait, wait, wait. Didn't you in your childhood? You spent yeah, a lot of time I, in the woods. Yeah, my dad was a base. Yeah, you spent a lot of time in the woods of New Hampshire playing with GI Joes. <laughs> burned down a forest. <laughs> <laughs> you did. I did. Wow. I burned down one. Well, wow. a field, hey, not a should, forest. Hey, a field. G.I. Joe by, the, by the way, you should just learn when it's recorded to say the word allegedly before. Allegedly. <laughs> <Yeah>. Allegedly. <laughs> that should be the name. That's okay. Uh, last Wait, where are they? I admitted uh, to killing a hooker. <laughs> <laughs> we're hoping you know, no, actually, if, if you compile all the episodes, we're all going to do a lot of time <laughs> at the end of it. So, why are you wearing a shirt then? <laughs> I know I should be naked and oiled up, well, really, if I wanted get, to be completely efficient. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, because yeah, you go to the Greco-Roman. Right. We all make our. Jason oh. actually is a black belt in a form of karate we've never heard of. Oh, what? called uh, it's martial arts. Not karate. Art. Oh, sorry, I apologize. Thank no, I studied traditional Shaolin kung fu for about nine years. Oh, so. really? He's a black belt. Oh, that's why you would pick China. Now it all now it all makes sense. Well, I mean, they they Long do fist? have they do have quite an what's that? Long fist. Long fist. No. Mm. Hua fist. That's interesting. I like doing that to people that know martial arts. I'm like, oh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Long <laughs> fist, praying mantis. Mantis. I learned some mantis forms. Mm-hmm. What? What? What color? Are you, are you a black belt? <laughs> yes. You studied. You actually. Yeah, I took. The te- I had to fight two people on my black belt test, and mm-hmm. uh, at the same time. Yes, it was in, f- insane. In New Hampshire. No, this was actually in the, Kentucky. <laughs> the seat of martial arts. The seat of Shaolin is actually... Believe it or not, it Kentucky. actually is because of ethnic and, and cleansing. China... <laughs> what? what? China... No. What? Come on, Those no. Nazis were quite the kind of... No, 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 no. <laughs> well, not ethnic, but definitely uh, anybody that had money or was, a, was an objector to the government in China. There are words you use that you shouldn't use. <laughs> right. Ethnic was a mistake. Ethnic cleansing and... No, it was actually religious. It was for religion. Religious. Mm. It was a religious cleansing. They actually were killing a lot of the monks, and they fled in between 47 and 49. That's why there's so many Chinese in Australia. Between 37 Indonesia, and Indonesia, Vietnam. That was the Second here. World War. And that's why they... That's it why was they after had... the World War II when Mao... When what years do you think the Second World War happened? Well, actually, Japan invaded China in 1937, I think. And you said 37 to 49. No, no, 47 to 49. Oh, no, that's after, that's after. Yeah, yeah, yeah after yeah. the war, when, when there was political struggle... When communism was coming to power, there was this era where there was like a different government called a re- new, like I think they called it oddly enough the New Republic or something, which was like that's from Star Wars. Go yeah, ahead. that's Star Wars, right? No, right. I think they actually called it <laughs> something like You're that. You're mixing mythologies. Go ahead. So <laughs> it's okay. Well, this so one. the Jedi Council. What did they? What did they do about this? And why were they drinking mint juleps? <laughs> <in Kentucky? laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why was Luke Skywalker in Kentucky <laughs> teaching you how to fight? <laughs> 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 Well, I mean, basically, the reason that I was in Kentucky taking Kung Fu was because Sente's family left China because... Oh, yeah, Sente. Sente. Yeah, okay. That's his name. You can look him up. Wikipedia, whatever. Sin Quante. That's my former teacher. Right. His family fled China because... Oh, my grandpa's thing. (laughs) Perfect. Can I have that? Is that your grandpa's wood? This is my grandpa's wood. <laughs> Did we mention this last episode of the episode before? I don't know. I want to tell Adam about this. This this <laughs> stick was found in the back of... It's not a baseball bat. It's like a thing. It's a nightstick. And um, <laughs> Jason's grandfather <laughs> uh-huh. gave this to him on his deathbed. Yes. <laughs> now, this was, this was the stick. This was the stick that uh, Jason's grandfather used to keep because he was a bartender. Yeah. And in case anyone came in and caused a kerfuffle, yeah. Yeah. he'd beat the shit out of people like that. <laughs> the old now, piece, other peacemaker. Be- other people in there in, in, pass war medals onto their grandchildren. Watches, watches, gold watches. watches. Gold watches is a thing. Old right. bits of family memorabilia. Photos. Advice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wisdom. <laughs> Business. Yeah. And Jason got a hitting stick from a bar. <laughs> 
<laughs> one that looks like you could rape with it also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, now, you it told me before you, you use this for Shaolin to practice. I found it in the trunk of my car. <laughs> and I said to him, Jason, why is this, uh, why is this, why is there a stick in my car? And he goes, I was practicing Shaolin. No. You told me that the first time. The second time you lied and said you moved. But the first time you said you had to go to, like, a, <laughs> you had to, go to a field and practice or something. <laughs> no, it's got a good weight to it. And uh, I use it just to it, it, just to exercise the forearms. I do spins with it, like the two. Like Could you double. please do a spin for well, us? Well, you right have another now? object. I can show you a double spin if you want. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I don't know about. No. Nah, <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I'm worried about stuff breaking. Ooh, you just kind of. You almost fucking you, knocked the lead out. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> while yeah. you were it, looking at me, with no, I mean, I don't. I don't have another like you know. But like typically, you know, you just. Can you stand over there away yeah. from everyone? Take no, it, there's no, there's we'll really not much it. demonstration. We'll describe it. Put the microphone down. It's key to know your space and your area, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, like, we don't want like to stop swinging it around Lalit's head. Yeah, you'll, you'll never get any ethnic cleansing <laughs> done with that shit. <laughs> you don't want to fuck with Armenians. Yeah. All right, go, go stand over there and show us what you can do with it. Well... I could just just do it. Hit you with it. No, I don't want you hitting. No, but you don't need training to learn how to hit with something. (laughs) That's inherent in everybody. I'll do like a part of a kata. Okay. Wait. 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 First part of a kata. (laughs) What a wonderful phrase. (laughs) Part of a kata. Wait. 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 Jason, hold on. Jason, what's hold on, Jason? What's his kata's name? Break the TV. Wait, Jason. Jason. (laughs) Now wait. We need you to bow again. Apocalypse now, Charlie. Something like, I don't know, I don't remember the forms at all, but... They're not important. <laughs> but I know, yeah, no, I mean, it's Forms aren't important in Kung Fu. Okay, can you do the bow again? Yeah. Oh, here oh. we go. All right, no, the, the ancient plastic dog ball thrower. <laughs> the chuck it, the chuck it and grandpa's bat, what you're going to kill somebody with. What's the computer? What's the computer? Watch my face. Watch your own face. Watch Ernie's face. Jesus Christ. No. Stop it. Yeah, let him. I'm not. I'm not happy about this. <laughs> you were inches away from smashing a computer there. He was. Did he, I? he was doing some Did kind you? of. Exactly. No, you didn't. Only because I warned you. He looked like those girls that aren't cheerleaders. <laughs> <laughs> drill team. Yeah. Drill team. Yeah. 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 He just did drill team maneuvers, <laughs> claiming it was some kind of martial arts. I like. And he did it with his grandfather's stick and a chuck it that you throw <laughs> tennis balls to a dog with. I, I like that. I always like that phrase. It was like, he almost uh, smashed in the face. But did I? <laughs> no, no, but you almost did. But yeah. did I? That's like if the Germans said that at the end of the war. You, you almost fucking killed it. We did we? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't. How many hot dogs have you had, Jason? This is my first. first. Okay. Whoa. I fed him earlier. In your lifetime? I have a feeling you were brought up on those. Actually, yeah. It's not a bad dog from the machine. I tell you, it comes out all right. Yeah. <laughs> That's all. I'm going to leave that on the coffee table. That machine. Just rotating hot dogs with a little bone. I'm not even going to leave the fucking seat. I'll be laid down just getting them Ten out. Ten weeks of hot dogs and PS3 ah. coming up, baby. Yeah, yeah. That, well, that'll be great. So Because wa- Eddie's wait, away. Look. We will do this. We will put the hot dog machine on the table and the PSP controllers on each side and me and you, Pro Evolution Soccer, for 10 weeks. I'm in. So that's great. I'm in. So, so I'm going to walk in the house now and I'm going to see Jim lying on his back eating hot dogs. Better than what a, you used to see me with doing. With an iPad and cum all over him. <laughs> How's that hot dog treating you, Jason? It's good. It's good, isn't it? Uh-huh. You worked up an appetite swinging those sticks, right? <laughs> it's all right. So you have a black belt for what we just saw? No. What do you have a black belt for? Other stuff. Other stuff. Like <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit of a hypnotist. <laughs> Can you see the future? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh, Jordan, Jordan Rubin told me you know magic, too. I do know magic. You look yeah. like someone. Like, yeah. really? Yeah. What, yeah. Johnson? <laughs> <laughs> He's a good dude. <laughs> we don't fuck around too much anymore. Yeah, yeah. since the age. Real mellow now. <laughs> um, what, like, or as I call him, lesion forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. What? You can't make fun of magic's fake AIDS. Just did it. <laughs> Uh, what, do you, are you really like you know magic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, what, what, I started doing it when I was uh, when I was a kid because I decided I didn't want like a childhood. So I, like, <laughs> I want to wait. You know, I want to I want to waste time and uh, I want to see the cards through the crying and the masturbating. So you so can are you a card sleight of hand? Is that yeah? What I do deal? sleight of hand. It's not like you're that. like getting in a box and go saw me in half. No, no, no. That stuff wasn't available. I love sleight of hand magic. 
I well, think do, it's great. Do we have cards? It, it's really I might, good on I radio. Might have, I might have a deck of cards. Magic and radio mix really Mix perfectly. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I like the one, and I know how they do it, but the one where they throw the cards up on the roof. I and fucking then love that. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, the only yeah, one I, I like. That's yeah. my favorite when people do that. I, I, I get what it is. You just find the top one, you put something sticky on it, yeah, yeah, you yeah. put the rubber band, and you say it's just all in the throw, but I mean, Yeah, yeah but they stay up there impressive. forever. Like, you know when you go in a bar and there's like 50 up there on the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and they the really good... That's like the cheap version. The the original version of that trick, there's a guy that used to do it, and he used to throw it through a fucking ceiling fan. Really? <laughs> the whole thing. Right. And that would, that's what made it cool, but then the other guys just started doing it, just like throwing it up. Uh, yeah. Are you one of those magicians that doesn't break the code, or... Uh no, you, you'll tell anything like no. Oh. I just basically said what what Jim said was right. <laughs> <laughs> There's something sticky, whatever tape. I don't give a shit what it can be. You yeah. spit, you throw it up there. You know, it's last there forever. I don't know how magicians still work with the internet. Because mm-hmm. like I'll watch a trick on TV, I'll be like, "That's amazing," and then right, I Google right. it, and two seconds later, there's some dickhead going. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but when you see it live, those big illusionists, it is impressive. Yeah, when you see it live, and and also like you know the, the idea is that it's more about the performer, and you know when you, if somebody said, "Listen, I'm gonna blow your brains out unless you give me the trick," a, a magician would instantly give you the answer to the trick. Yeah. <laughs> there's no bullshit. Like I can't. It's a code. And then going back on what I just said, I'm like, I can't believe it still exists, and I'm like, wait. We have like a whole government that like went to Iraq saying, "Hey, there's weapons of mass destruction." They were like, yeah, "No, yeah, there yeah, isn't." Yeah, like, yeah, we believe yeah, yeah. them. I, yeah. find, I find out all my magic tricks on uh, WikiLeaks. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it can't all be gems. Fucking hell. I'm, gold, I'm, I'm, gold, gold. I've had some pretty good laughs. This one of them has been my worst podcast. <laughs> podcast. Now, in all your celebrity, uh, uh, you, you've worked on a lot of shows and everything. Have you ever met? <laughs> I have not met. Well, uh, somebody uh, is. Someone yeah, is. Somebody here. Really? Somebody used to be his he, private. I've never met him. Private I never met him. No. I met his wife. Really? But which, I never met which, him. Which, which one? Yeah. Just back when uh, the tall one with the. With the <laughs> Yeah, you've, you've said her name before, Nicole. You know, oh yeah, I was saying Nicole. You know how King. long? You know how long China's history is, but you don't know her name. I just said it. Oh, well, mm. you said it after Jim said it. Yeah. You Nicole met, Kidman. I once met her. Um, uh, her sister when I was 16 I knocked onto her sister at a party while well, I gave it a go she's the same Antonia Kidman I once really? saw her in BMX Bandits that's what I was going to say is like that's where I first knew her like she, uh, in she the was movie. the she ugly was, this is this is the thing about Nicole Kidman growing up in Australia she was on our TV for years before BMX right. Bandits she was just the ugly frizzy red headed covered in freckles chick tomboyish yeah, yeah and yeah. then she all of a sudden becomes famous and then like america's going oh isn't she beautiful and everyone in australia was like you sure <laughs> it's like when you go to high school with a chick and then yeah, you find yeah, out yeah. she's in playboy and you're like yeah, that yeah. that chick was yeah. uh see but australia has the tape they can they were like we got some tape on her yeah we even, don't in, have. even in dead calm was the first film that really where she took off mm-hmm. right and dead calm she's not I always felt like it was a scam. Like she was one of these people that they somehow were like, they sat around in a Hollywood studio and they went, all right, we're going to play a prank on America. We're going to tell them all she's a big star. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, it's like these really rich guys that sit around smoking cigars Mm -hmm. and go, we'll just fucking make her a star. And she is not really talented, not really hot, but they'll believe it and they'll make her a star. Yeah. It's kind of what we're doing with Jason. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, that's how, I mean, America does like, you know, America would, will own it and then disown you. Like, they'll be like, Mel Gibson's American, you know, pretty yeah, yeah. well. He's <laughs> like, he's Australian. Yeah, as soon as, <laughs> as, soon as like, he starts yelling anti Semitic yeah. slash he's, he's literally all like, no, he hasn't. It's bullshit. Well, there's someone else. Did, Vin Diesel is another one. Like, I, I, how is he a star? You know, like, there are star qualities. You've got to be like, Really muscular, really good looking. You gotta have something really like, you gotta be good at martial arts or good at something, some talent, like, you know, quick witted. Right. What what does Vin Diesel have? A lot of times people just decide, like, we're like, we're like, you know, magazine was ever like, this girl's hot. Why? We've decided this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Casting couch. Yeah, do you have any (laughs) say in this? Objectification. (laughs) Yeah, that's not what we're talking about. But thank you. Yeah, Jason, thanks for chiming in. You, you could have said any. No, I heard. I heard. You could have said you any could, porn term there. You could have said, said if, I, "I like green beans on Tuesdays." So, but if we went, we, that girl's. Good I looking, like green beans on thing, Tuesdays. And, and all of a sudden, you would have heard Bukaki. <laughs> DP. <laughs> Way to, way to bring down a conversation. <laughs> we are really getting. You know, you know what I have to say, Lilith fucking. <laughs> 
pisses herself laughing if we rip into you. I know. She couldn't be happier. She really happier. enjoys it. It's like, I, yeah. this, 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 this is like a birthday gift to her now. It just starts beating on you. When I have sex, and you still I, go back to that well when, when, time and time again, and it's dry for you, but it's always moist for us. When Jim and I, when Jim and I spit roast Lilith, we're just going to be telling Jason jokes the whole time to hear her orgasm. Yeah, yeah. Like, as I'm fucking a mouth, I'm going to be saying things like, sometimes I don't feed him at all. I say, he can come over. Like, he should just be so happy. Sometimes we call him and have him come over and we're not even there. Yeah. And as she comes, she'll yell out, I hate Jason. I like Jason doing that Elvis lean right now. <laughs> like, the, like, he's about to, like, do your Elvis impression. Thank you very much. That's a great one. Oh, yeah. You got to see when we get him really going, he does Kermit the Frog. Thing. Kermit the Frog. Do Kermit the Frog. Hi, ho, Kermit the Frog here. That one's not bad. No, not bad. It was off. You know, it's been years. Now do you do. It's been years. Do you De Niro? Do you De Niro? It's just a fave. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's uh, very good. Yeah, yeah. Very good, De Niro. Now, see, some <laughs> of our guests, Adam, actually take a liking to him. When we had examples of the, the, the white British rapper. One. The next right. day, he was. Loved him. Yeah, he was well, partying all night with us. The next day, he had to record his newest album. And he's like a platinum. He right. sold like millions, <laughs> millions of albums. He gets up the next day to go to, to his help album. Jason ice his face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think Bumbling Jason woke you. him up and took him to the taxi. <laughs> but uh, he he went to record an album, and I saw on his Twitter that like thousands of people were recommending who would be good mm -hmm. on his newest album. And he wrote back. He said, "Thank you to all my fans, but I'm recording this album alone. I'm going to be the only one featured singing on it." And uh, and I wrote to him, what about at Jason Hour? And uh, he wrote back, that is one exception I'll make. There is a chance of that. Wow. Nice. He said that he said that uh, he was an untold talent or something. Unseen. Yeah. Untapped. 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 That was the term. By the yes. way, nobody can see this, obviously, because it's a podcast, but Jason just looked at me like, yeah, see what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> He's like... You hear these guys telling this is all true. So yeah. we, we were going we to quit the podcast when we were having iTunes problems. Jim was really upset, and he was like, fuck iTunes. I'm done with this. I'm not doing the show. Mm. And I was sitting with J Jason at the coffee shop, and Jason said, what are you going to do? I said, I don't know. Just go back to doing stand-up. And I said, I don't give a fuck. You know, I've got a career. What are you going to do? And Because he, he has nothing. He goes, I figure... Uh, I'll just start my own podcast. <laughs> yes. I might not have the fans that you and Jim have, but I have the talent. <laughs> wow. What would you do in your podcast? Interview people from Venice, maybe? I don't know. Have you thought about this? Have you really thought about branching off and having your own spinoff? Well, Gervais's sidekick does. Oh. He has his own, and he's like in the top 20 or something Is on he Not his podcast, no. He has the only TV show that Gervais gave him. Oh, he does. Yeah, yeah. He has his own TV show. I like show. the plan goes yeah, down yeah. the toilet right there. Oh, TV show. Well, not no, no, it didn't go down the toilet. It <laughs> went up. I was TV like, oh wait, TV show. <laughs> he had a TV show called An Idiot Abroad, where where he but, sends him off to. No, no, no. If you go to iTunes, there's a podcast that he has now. What? Yeah, he has his own podcast. No, I no. tell you what, Jason. <laughs> Do you look up I to him? Is he your idol? I would like you to record your no. own podcast. Yeah, I would too. And you know, I'll be a guest on it. Would you be a guest on it? Oh, come on. You know what? Right. How, right. about, how about for the next five minutes of this show? No, 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 no. We're no, let no, you no way. run the show. I can't. It's the Jason nah. Hour of Power. Hour of Power. <laughs> it's the Jason Hour of Power. Come on. Five minutes. For five, five minutes, minutes, you are going to run the show. And this is going to be your podcast. Don't look at me, dude. No what the you <laughs> ask me, I'll do this song for you right now. <laughs> One douchebag on a couch. <laughs> He's, he's an asshole and a grouch <laughs> And he's got nothing to say Out of his fucking mouth Jason Retard Jason Out of power Jason The closer Hi you're listening to Jason Hours Talking stuff And uh Today I've got Jim Jeffries And Eddie Ift and Adam Thank Adam you. what's your last name again? <laughs> De La Pena. De La Pena. Adam used to write a show with uh, Gary Busey called I'm With Busey. It was an amazing program. I used to follow it on a regular basis. <laughs> and uh, we got Eddie Ift. He's fresh off his Australian tour. Was, was there a lot of damage from the flooding? Did you notice the change in the economy? Well, was when there... they took me up in the helicopters and I got to survey the scene, it looked, it looked pretty bad. Was it a Huey or, or a Bell? What kind of helicopter did they, uh, they put you in? <laughs> Answer him. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was a it was a, it was a Bell Jet Ranger. 
Can I ask you a question? Um, do, you, do you know that one? No, I'm not familiar with that. Is that, is that <laughs> uh, now, when you, when you were in Australia, yes. obviously, you, you know, as an American comic, mm -hmm. that's not super popular in the American market, <laughs> but huge in Australia. <laughs> Being a roommate with an Australian comic that's not super popular in Australia, yet huge in America, was there a lot of commentary from different, you know, TV hosts and, you know, the people talk about that with you? No, no one does, because no one sees that and has that observation other than a guy <laughs> that lives on our couch. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to keep going? No, this is really good. Yeah, the, yeah, show, yeah. the show goes in the direction that you want to take it. You've got uh, four minutes left. Jim, how do you feel being able to beat me at a video game once, finally? It was very good. It was very satisfying yeah. to beat you. I've never beaten you. Did you beat me in this regular lot of time for that game, or did we have to go into... We like, had to go into yeah, extra time. Did. It was overtime, but it yeah. made the victory all that more sweeter. What about the boxing? You've be always beaten me in the boxing, yeah. What's the other game? Baseball. I couldn't even finish that. You're just listing things now? That. I don't know. Why, yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. Been, I have no idea what to do with the show been, when I've been, had two martinis. You've, and I you've invited it. me you know, on I'd the have show. A little bit of, usually I'd do a little bit. I would do more pre-production than this. <laughs> that, if, if, I were, if I were actually in charge of a show, I would have someone That's the kind of guy I pegged you as, a pre-production Yeah, I would, I would get some pre-production. Yeah, a planner. Yeah, I'm a, plan yeah, I'm a yeah, thinker. Yeah. I, I, yeah. <laughs> you've got you're already aborting at two and a half minutes I'm right? quitting you're talking about I'm jumping you're talking about the problems of the show already <laughs> can I get out <laughs> yeah, yeah. I changed so don't quit the, that was the Eddie, Jason one Jim, minute of power <laughs> please don't quit <laughs> So you're not going to be starting Stay your together. own podcast so can, can Stay you, together, Can you please. now categorically say that you don't have the talent? No. <laughs> <laughs> if I had proper... What you, if I was prepared, maybe I could do more. Well, hold on, hold on. This is even better. Because like, I'm used to, you know, like all, all of my training in the past was never, you know, improv or it was... Like, it was Shaolin. <laughs> no, well, I mean... <laughs> it was Kentucky. I'm pretty good at teleprompting. <laughs> Coffee making. Coffee, Coffee making. making. I, 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 Signing I, on. Well, yeah. you, you, what? Tell, tell Adam, what, what's that? Well, I was going to explain to him that I worked on the uh, set of Bewitched and I made Nicole... A latte, that's how I actually had that conversation. Oh, right. Did you put a little yeah. design in the top of the latte? No, I didn't know how to do that back then. But you can do that now. I wasn't competition level back yeah, she then. Was, she's not wait, wait, wait. You're competition level. I barista. used to be. I where used to where be. are these competitions? Uh, actually, two years ago, the championships were here in L.A. The coffee championship. There is a barista. It's an international championship. It's a competition. It's a big deal. What would you wear to that? <laughs> Probably an apron. <laughs> what kind of shoes would you have on? Clogs. Ones that were given to you? Uh, no, you, you yeah, exactly. The ones that were given to me. Actually, all my shoes have been given to me by you, Eddie, right now. All your clothes. In my war Well, no, I bought... No, Tuma gave me... I bought this one. <laughs> I bought my pants. How's that? You're hey, like an anyway. astronaut. Astronauts don't pay for their clothes. It's given to them by NASA. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. You are. I'm, you're I'm like, like an astronaut. astronaut. You just gave him a factoid like that. that he's going to give later to somebody else. Somebody's <laughs> going to go, where did you get that shirt? And he's going to go, uh, somebody gave it to me. I'm like an astronaut. <laughs> did you know that astronauts are given their shirt clothes? That's what happens to me because I'm kind of like on an astronaut. No, I'm not did, in the space did you program. Ever, did you ever consider control. the space program? No, I was always th no uh, early. No, I, I just meant he meant you meant just th think about it. Right? <laughs> early, yeah, I've considered it. I mean, <laughs> no, early on in my life, I was uh, colorblind. I was like already no. I was out the done. Early on, then. Stop. Well, I mean, I'm still have red oh, okay. green deficiency, okay. but like basically. <laughs> you have green bean deficiency. <laughs> red green, red green, like red, red and greens. Red like, green, red so green. So like when you're a kid, you know, and you take that test and you look at the book and you see different designs or patterns in the bubbles. Right, what, what color is this? What color is that bucket? It's blue. All right. I mean, I can see a lot of this colors. couch. Is that a red couch? That we're no, but I don't. It's gray to me. The couch is like a grayish. Is I can tell there's greens in it, but. That's just from experience. So wait, you're actual. deficient in what? Red and greens. But there's no red and greens in space, so you're pretty cool. No, no, you can't get into a flight program like with the Air Force, NASA. You can't fly anything. Who told you that? The Chinese? The motherfuckers. <laughs> no, no. When I tried to, I wanted to do it. My, uh, my great uncle was a flyer, and my uncle was a flyer, and I had an option. And I your grandfather. <laughs> my grandfather. Beat, beat people in the stick. Actually, he was a, actually, my grandfather was a medic, and then after he retired, he became a bartender. At that's the not retirement. That's a, that's a man who didn't save his money well. <laughs> 
I liked you the idea. That's, 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 that's an hour. <laughs> I like the idea of like a guy who also is like, here's a, here's a stick to beat people with. I'm also a medic, so I know every body part. Just how to break it. <laughs> and then fix it. What doesn't heal. Did he did he beat the shit out of people? My grandfather? Yeah. I don't know. Huh. Maybe. The stick's got blood on it. You wouldn't say <laughs> it, it's red. <laughs> <laughs> I think that will do us for this episode. Yeah. Well, I just had a question. I mean, because, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why close the show? Since we're at the end of the show, I just want to say one more thing. You can prolong yeah. it. It's kind of like when you fuck. You don't come, <laughs> so you just keep going because you got to poo. <laughs> <laughs> you know how, what is that, what is that show, this, the sci-fi space show? <laughs> Star Wars. No, the one that was like <laughs> uh, Star, Star Trek. No, it was more modern. They, actually, what happened was the show was pulled and then Battle because, Star Galactica. And then, no, be, and then because Buck Rogers in the 20th Serenity. century. And then because the show, there's such a web following. There's so much Firefly. web. Firefly. Firefly. Yeah. Firefly. Do you think we could do the same thing with I'm with Busey? Exactly the same thing. <laughs> Build. <laughs> Because Firefly is always compared to no 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 Busey. not yeah. the content comparison. Every time I go to Comic Con, I'm like, listen, get Firefly fans. I actually think that Gary Busey is a fascinating human being. I don't know. I maybe like, you have a different I, perspective. Yeah, he's very I fascinating. Him. I no, liked I mean, him I when he played Buddy Holly. Him. Yeah, yeah, that was a movie I enjoyed when yeah, he played Buddy Holly. Uh, it's amazing, actually. Before we close the show, I want to mention I got a couple texts uh, or uh, twitters about Jason. One of them said, uh, "Drunk from uh, Lee Gibbo." At Lee Gibbo wrote, drunk Jason equals genius. You need to make t-shirts with I don't drink around your dog on them. Yeah, I didn't get that. I don't drink around your dog. My what is that my from? You know what that was? I got a message That's from that That's when I told him too. I didn't want him watching the dog anymore because he's an alcoholic. And he goes, I don't drink around the dog. My, my, fa <laughs> my favorite bit was when, in that episode, was when Lindsay stood up and went, um, Jason, calm down. And you went... I'll hit you. <laughs> no, I'll punch you in the face. I said that. You said yeah. I'll punch you in the face. I threatened her. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that's why she's gone. Yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Any more twitters or anything? That can um, happen? somebody wants to bring your brother on and have them punch you. My my brother will be on around December, but it's wait, a long wait, way away. Which brother's coming? Scott, 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 the one who wrote the letter, he's going to be at it. Is he really coming? I saw a picture of Scott, and I'm not really worried about it. Oh. <laughs> fight, fight. Oh, I'm not going to fight back. I'll and if you want to send us more emails, we do try to read them out. Uh, if you send a really good letter that's not just like, I'll oh, punch Jason or something, we will read it out and send that to Jim and Eddie at yahoo.com. Here's one. Keep Jason drunk on future episodes. Best decision you guys made since you punched him in the stomach. <laughs> People love to get you punched. You might be the most hated person in the world. <laughs> Not really. People love you though. They love to the hate. They love to. No, hate. they don't love to hate. They they just hate you. People do love to hate in this world though. You are right. We didn't have a fart this week. Okay, can you can you bring us a fart? I'm dry. Oh, there we go, Jim Jeffrey. There wow. we go. <laughs> Thank you. That's Thank Radio you. 1983, everybody. Um, Jason, since you did such a good job hosting the show for two and a half minutes, <laughs> why don't you take us out? Do all the plugs. Do everything you're supposed to do. <clears throat> don't stress out. I see the sweat beating down your forehead right now. You've been listening to the spectacular and wonderful Jim Jeffries and Eddie Ift with our guest Adam. <laughs> De La Pena. You got anything you'd yeah. like to plug? Uh, just uh, follow me on Twitter at Adam De La Pena uh, at Twitter. And then uh, I have a website called uh, Awesome Avenue at WordPress.com. Uh, don't forget to check us out on Stitcher.com, iTunes.com. You can, any comments or feedback at Jim and Eddie at Yahoo.com. Uh, everybody's proper names, I believe, except for Jim's, is their Twitter. And uh, thanks for being a part of our family. We love you. Talking shit. Talking shit.